I find myself pretty lucky. You know, I've got a job where I get to design outdoor spaces and gardens for people to enjoy. A bit like this one. Did you catch it at the Melbourne International Flower and Garden Show? It's the sort of place where you get to play in the sandbox and design spaces that might be a little bit outside the box. But what I really love is when the show opens, people get to enjoy the garden and take home some ideas. So let's rewind a couple of months to where it all began, right here at home. Well, actually, on the drawing board. So I've thought about all the things I would like in the perfect entertaining space. We've got two areas, one of them for dining, a second one for lounging. They're connected by a water feature and a large lawn in the middle for sprawling out. The centerpiece of the garden you can see here is a chimney with a charcoal fire. But I've got one step further. On top of one of my entertaining spaces is a rooftop garden. And we're going to have a barbecue up there and, of course, a beer fridge. Now, this is going to be surrounded by loads of different plants because plants are what it's all about for me. And I'm getting clever with my entertaining spaces and recycling some shipping containers. <laughs> Now, a shipping container for an outdoor room isn't such a crazy idea. If you're looking for something like a pergola or an office, these cost five grand with the cutouts delivered. Now, obviously, I've spent a bit more money on tricking them up. Let me show you some of those things. In both containers, we've put down stone flooring. This one is going to be all about outdoor lounging. And as a massive feature, as a backdrop, I've got a green wall. Now, this is just the frame. At home, you could just have a simple strip or you could make a dramatic effect like we're going to have here. To support the rooftop garden, we've added steel reinforcement. And to give the container a more contemporary look, we've clad it in black butt timber. So we are finally here at the Melbourne Flower Show in the Carlton Gardens, nine days until show day, and it is all kicking off. Our containers have just arrived from Sydney. I'm super excited to see them and unpack them. Now we're just massaging where they're going. They've got to be perfectly parallel to one another, or the whole design falls apart. Now, building a show garden is a very different process to building a garden, especially when you're in a heritage site like this. You're not allowed to dig in the ground, so everything has to come up with timber framework, and then stuff goes on top of that. And here it is, our grill is finally in place. And just like the containers, this was actually prefab and just bought in. In front of it are these incredible cobblestones. Now, throughout Europe, they've been lifting the streets, cutting the tops off and relaying them. But what it gives us is this amazing antique finish. Now, these are nice and thin. They're just stuck down. The boys are grouting them and they look fantastic. It's really amazing how trees have an instant impact on a garden design, be it a show garden, or a home garden. This one is one of my favorites. It's a weeping tropical boat and it is deciduous. So what happens when it loses its leaves is it shows off this incredible bark in here. Not to ignore my rooftop, I'm putting a couple of showstoppers up here too. So these are amazing aged olives that I've got up on the rooftop. Now olives are fantastic for rooftops because they like lots of heat. And we're just one of a raft of teams racing to the finish line, along with veteran designers like Joel Barnett. What is it about show gardens that you like doing? Uh, it's, it's the people that are here. Like, it feels like you're uh, catching up with family again. I love being around people who are just passionate about what they do. Uh, I might have to come and steal your miscampus and swap them for mine, because yours are looking better than mine are. <laughs> and first time entrant, design student Claire Derwalt. This is your first show garden? It is my first show garden. How are you coping? How do you feel? Oh, it's stressful. It's very yeah. stressful. But, you know, everybody here is basically helping out together. And the camaraderie that we've all found within this is amazing. Well, the build to my container garden is well underway. The fixed structures are almost done. And we're moving on to more and more planting. Fingers crossed nothing goes wrong. But that is all coming up later on. I'm taking you on a behind the scenes look at the Melbourne International Flower and Gun Show where I'm building my own show garden. And yes, it is dirty work. Now, us designers who are building big show gardens, we get nine days. We are deep into day eight. And thank goodness the adrenaline is pumping because I am absolutely shattered. <laughs> When you're building a show garden 
or when you're doing the planting in a show garden anyway, you need to let the judges know if you're doing it in a sunny position or a shady position. Now, the shady positions are at the back of the garden and I'm totally fine with planting those. Sunny position though, this is the sort of planting that I wouldn't normally put together, but I'm really pushing myself to do something different. I'm really happy with the way it's come out. The main thing we've got is this incredible fan aloe. Now, everyone who's walking past is impressed with this and it is absolutely fantastic around it. I'm picking up the silver and blue in the foliage with things like guava. We've got some native deities. This one's called white tiger and then some rounded shrubs just to ground it all in oriental pearls. Just like Now, the inside of these containers are certainly looking different from the last time you saw them. They're a much more muted affair compared to the riot of planting outside. Now, they are painted matte black inside, which is quite dark, but what that does is really show off the sculptural feature of this hanging ethanol fireplace. And behind it, the petrified moss wall. Now, you would think you would need to spray this with water, but actually that damages it. The thing that preserves this is salt water. And you can tell that I've been really simple in this container. Black walls, green backdrop, fireplace. The simple things make the most impact. And in the back container, I have yet another statement with this fantastic green wall, which really anchors the back of the design. Now, this one took much longer to put together than the moss wall at the front because you have to place every individual part. Now, I really like a green wall where there's clumps and drifts. I started off with these hanging ripsalis because they're incredibly dramatic. I've then done clumps of things like this calathea and then some elephant ears and just softened it with the green big drifts of ferns through here. Now, I went for this system because it suited me best for a show garden. You'll notice each plant is actually in an individual pot. So it allowed me to take them out and rearrange them. A really good system for the home gardener and it's great for the show gardener as well. Now, you know we're getting close to the finish line when I take off the work clothes and put on a blazer. And the last thing we're doing is installing the lawn. Now, this is a major feature and we're not doing just any old lawn. I've never been stressed laying glass before. Things we bread. Now this is one of my favorite types of grass. This is a hybrid Bermuda called Tiff Tough. It's incredibly drought tolerant, but I like it because it can be kept at a really low height. This is 15 mil, and this is actually a sports turf. So it's never been done at the Melbourne Flower Show before using single pieces of turf like this, but the result is absolutely spectacular. Now, if you were doing this at home, you probably wouldn't use sports rolls because they're not the easiest to get in, but you can use the Tiff Tough hybrid Bermuda. It's an excellent grass for the home gardener. Well, there you have it. This is what we all do it for. The garden is complete. It has taken 12 months of planning, nine days of building, and three hours of vacuuming the lawn to make it look this good. And I'm absolutely chuffed with the way it's turned out. We've got hot succulents at the front, a nice cool courtyard in the middle, a relaxing green wall, and a fantastic rooftop. Now, I could not have done this without my incredible team and the support of everybody who has helped me. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And luckily enough, the judges were impressed. We've got a gold medal, best plants, and best in show. And I hope you enjoyed it too.